Brunswick Creek authorities received an anonymous tip that there was a Maltese scene driving through the community. His crime, they asked? Was he speeding? Was he texting while driving? Was he driving recklessly? The answer to any of these questions was no. The crime that this bundle of fluff committed was far more dangerous. He was driving while being too cute. When Bipaw heard about the incident, we knew that we had to do something. Welcome to this month's Bipaw's Most Wanted Johns Creek. I'm Gracie Bates. We hired private investigator Travis Eisenhower when we took on the case of punning down Bipaw's Most Wanted. He has extensive background in stalking and a history of investigating situations that are deemed suspect. He's done some digging into the story and found that the accused typically goes to the dog park to meet some friends in the early evening. Travis and I plan to stake out the area near the dog park and see if we can catch the suspect in the act. So, what entertains you in your free time, Travis? You got your temptations back there? Yeah, I got some pretzels. That's how I feel about pretzels. Any special lady in your life, Trav? Can I call you Trav? You hear that, ladies? Travis is single and ready to mingle. He enjoys lap warming and long conversations with people. He's a socialite that enjoys the occasional candlelit dinner on the screened in porch while watching the sunset. What am I missing? Long walks on the beach? You're right. Well, I'm sure you'll find a special lady someday. Now, let's talk business. You found some info on the suspect, I see? The accused is male, 13 years old, white fur, identified as Louis Sadari. Look, I think that's him. Let's see if we can get him to pull over. <laughs> Louis Sardari. I'm Gracie Banks with Bpaws Most Wanted. Do you know why we pulled you over? No, you're right, you weren't speeding. You've been spotted by several citizens on multiple occasions, driving while being too cute. We're here to put a stop to this. I'm gonna have to give you a citation. I'm gonna need your license and registration, please. License and registration. We're just trying to keep the citizens of Johns Creek safe. We can't have someone as cute as you driving around distracting everybody during rush hour. All right, you'll have a court date one week from today and you need to show up or you'll get some hefty fees. Yes, you do have to appear in court before your veterinarian to see if you're guilty or not. Hey, I don't make the rules around here. Now who's your veterinarian? Well, between you and me, I happen to know Dr. Tack personally, and I know he has a soft spot for cute pups like you. Maybe if you can just send him an email showing that you're a good citizen, maybe put some cute selfies in it. In the words of Dr. Tack, 100%. Here's his personal email. I'm sure you'll get everything worked out, okay? All right, sir, you have a good evening. And from now on, let your dad do the driving. Good morning, Johns Creek. I'm Dr. Stephen Tack. I'm here today to issue a formal statement regarding Louis Sadari's case. I've reviewed all the materials presented both by the prosecution and the defense, and I'm declaring Louis Sadari innocent and dropping all charges associated with the case of driving while cute. I do, however, suggest Louis refrain from driving, particularly at this level of cuteness for the safety of all Johns Creek citizens. Thank you, everyone. And this concludes this month's episode of Bridge Park Animal Hospital's Most Wanted. What if he attacks my face? <laughs> He's gonna attack you with love. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> 
go back for a second. <laughs> Travis? Travis? What about some temptations? statement. Elizabeth needs to have her thing going. Every time! I would suggest that it's going too fast. I can't read that fast. Okay. Good. Where'd it go? Easy on this one. You're right. All right. Let me know when y'all are ready. Oh, we're ready. Are you ready? Go. Good morning, Johns Creek.